Hello and welcome to this webinar on A Christmas Carol for years 10 and 11. We are looking at Ebenezer Scrooge in quotations and the three takeaways that I hope that we will achieve is to understand his character, to link quotations to key themes and to analyse them using subject terminology. So Scrooge is the main character of A Christmas Carol and his name Scrooge is almost a combination of the word screw and gouge. The first thing I think that, that Dickens would want us to understand about this character is his sense of greed. He represents capitalism and materialism at its worst. The language used to describe Scrooge at the beginning of the novella in Stave One is very strong. He, it talks about him being as hard and sharp as flint. Now this simile shows that he is unyielding and unrelenting and cruel as a character. It also shows that when flint is struck with steel, it's supposed to give light, but actually it's the opposite. He gives no light and he gives no warmth. Another simile at the beginning to show his greed is solitary as an oyster. It's a very visual image because we know that oysters like clams are shut up and they are, they're closed and we can't prize them open. However, when we dig a little bit deeper, we understand that there is an element of potential because oysters, if they are opened up and in the right way, they develop, can produce pearls. Now, another one quotation that shows Scrooge's greed is really, again, in stave one, use the use of questions. Are there no prisons? Are there no workhouses? Charitable men are asking him for pennies, for change to give to the most unfortunate in society. And instead of wanting them to have a few pennies, he wishes them punishment and even death. We also see that Scrooge is a very intimidating character. So not only is he greedy and cruel, he's actually terrifying. Scrooge is described as, described as the ogre of the family and the mention of his name cast a dark shadow. We've got a sense of something that is a figure of torment in the mind of the Cratchit family. And even his nephew who loves him and is very kind and patient with him calls him a disagreeable, savage animal. And this metaphor intensifies the idea that he's someone who is a source of terror and has a sense of being uncontrollable in his rage. However, as the novella progresses, we see a softening and it says there was a boy singing a Christmas carol at my door last night. I should have given him something. That's all. Scrooge, when he goes back and sees himself as a young boy, isolated on his own, thinks of, thinks of another young boy isolated on his own and he wishes that he would have given him something. The modal verb here should suggest that sense of duty. The frosty, greedy, intimidating persona is melting. And he says, tell me if Tiny Tim will live. And here we can see that his compassionate side is being exposed. He thinks about Tiny Tim's life and he hopes that the young, vulnerable child will have success in the future. This is a change for Scrooge before when he didn't care if people would live or die. And then he sees the two children in stave three. They are want and they are ignorance. And he says, have they no refuge of resource? Now this echoes the question, are there no prisons? And again, it's sowing a softening, a, a compassion that he's wondering if these children will be looked after rather than rejecting them as he did earlier. We see a great humbling with Scrooge in the second to last stanza. And he begs for his life. He says, I will honor Christmas in my heart. I will live in the present, the past, the future. I will not shut out the lessons that they teach. And we can see this triplet of modal verbs. I will, I will. There's a change of heart. He understands that his punishment is inevitable unless he changes. And at the end, we see transformation and redemption. He says, I'm a lot as light as a feather, as happy as an angel, as merry as a schoolboy, and giddy as a drunken man. These 
similes mirror the similes in stave one but instead of being sharp and harsh and solitary he's happy and light and giddy and merry his transformation although has it has been draining has been has given him a sense of joy freedom and release and the happiness and joy that he feels here is in giving when he gives the turkey to the cratchit family and he gives willingly and openly in generosity so I can I hope you can see that Ebenezer Scrooge is a symbol of greed. He's an intimidating character. And yet through softening and humility, he's transformed and he gains freedom and joy through generosity. Thank you for joining me. Goodbye. <laughs>